We'll be reviewing how to adjust tips and close out batches at the end of your business day. The Clover Tips app allows you to easily input and edit tips for credit card transactions, as well as pull up historical transactions to see which have tips added and which do not. If you have not downloaded it yet, you can do so using the app marketplace on the device or web dashboard. The tips function is typically on by default. If it has been turned off, it can be turned back on by tapping on the setup icon, then selecting the payments button. Under credit cards, there is the ask for signature and tip section, and at the bottom of that is the box which should be checked. We begin at the home page on the Clover station. Tap the tips icon to open the app. You will see the screen is split into two sections. No tip added will be on the top, and if you scroll towards the bottom, there is a section titled tip added. At the top of the screen, managers and administrators can view and input tips for any employee's transactions using the drop-down menu. Individual employees can only see the transactions they processed while logged in. Click on the transaction that a tip needs to be added in the No Tip Added section. Using the number keypad on the right, type in the tip amount. Clover will automatically calculate and display the tip amount entered as a percentage of the base transaction for your information. You can repeat this process for all transactions which need tips added. Notice the edit icon that appears to the right of transactions where a tip has been added. When done entering all the tips, press save and the transactions will then be moved to the tip added section. If there are any unusually large or small tips, a notification will pop up and you'll be asked to confirm the amount. If you leave the tips app before hitting save, any transactions that have been modified will be saved when you return to the app. They can now be found in the tips added section. If you need to edit a transaction in the tip added section before they have been closed out for the night, you can scroll down to that order and make the change. Now let's close out all the orders which can only be done by managers and administrators. When you or your employees have finished adding tips to all necessary transactions, you can close out for the evening. Click on the Close Out Orders button at the top of the Tips app screen to close them out. Please note, this closes out orders for all stations. If you have multiple devices, ensure that all employees have entered their tips before clicking on this button. You will then be asked to confirm that you are ready to close out all orders as a reminder that this action cannot be undone. If you are ready, confirm by clicking Close Out Orders in the prompt. If your account is set up to manual close, you will need to perform this action each day to ensure you are funded for these transactions. If you're set up on auto close, make sure that all your tips have been entered before your batch closes. To change these settings, you must contact Clover Support. You will see a confirmation that your orders are marked for closeout. You will then be taken back to the Tips app screen. This completes this tutorial on the Tips app.